Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Today, uh, I want to show you my new eyeshadow palette. I don't know if you remember, in one of my last videos, I was talking about that the only way I will get this palette by Pam McGrath, um, the Mother She Moonly Seduction, will be if, okay, if she put on the website maybe like a 30 or 40 or even 50 percent of discount sale then i will buy it so i ended up getting the palette for around i think it was like 80 dollars because i knew that my eyeshadow palettes by pomegranate are much better i feel like the utopian dream and the divine rose and the other ones are much better kind of like color wise and quality than this one because I swatched this one on Sephora and I was like no I'm not gonna pay $128 plus taxes for this palette like the only way I will get it if she comes with a nice sale and probably by December she will come with a nice sale and then I will buy it but I was wrong she came with a sale she had a sale right now and it, the sale is like 30 40 and 50 percent off and I was like, mm, this is the time to get the palette. So I was very excited when I got it. Of course, she had the entire site, the entire site on sale right now. Like everything is 30, 40, 50 percent off. And depending like how much you buy and stuff like that. But I know I didn't want any more makeup. Like I know I didn't want anything else. But I was like, is she come with this palette just to have it part of my collection? And because I know I will use the shadows because I love Pamagra quality, um, definitely I will get the palette. And I got it, so I'm excited. As you can see, I'm not wearing a drop of makeup. And I'm wearing my headband that I wanted. And I saw an Ulta. Uh, Ulta. I got this one. I got two. One is in the background over here. And yeah. And I was like, I want to, so I got the two headbands, very excited at Ulta, and I got the palette by Pamagra. You know the packaging, super cute, right? Like, just like the other Pamagra Mother She eyeshadow palette packaging, same thing. This one is gorgeous, just like them. You know, I love the black case, it's so nice. I just don't, I don't know if she came with another case, I just know that I love this one, like, it has some cool tone shades like this toppy brown and these colors over here and these are the special shades these four over here but also this one and this is supposed to be like another type of um or duochrome shades right but i was like i don't know i swatched it before and i wasn't like that excited now that I have the palette, I still feel like it's very gorgeous. It is beautiful. So let's swatch it now again. But when I swatched on Sephora, I wasn't like, like I didn't fall in love. I was, I was feeling like, mm, okay, whatever, next. Like, you know. You know what? Let me apply quick some concealer. I'm going to be using my Tarte Chate Concealer. And I'm just going to apply this like over here. I have a big pimple over here that is coming out. I'm going to apply concealer over here too. So I just want to play with the shadows and I don't want like still looter powder. This one is in the shade 4 and 1, which is shell beige. That's my shade. I'm not gonna apply false lashes either because I'm not in the mood. Like I'm not in the mood for to apply that. Not today, maybe another time. I don't know. I had you know a hey relationship, like hey low relationship with false lashes. This day I feel like I love them so much. They look so great on camera. This other day I'm like, what am, why even I applying this shit? Like seriously, <laughs> where am I going? And even when I go out, I never apply this thing. Like, I love my mascara and, you know, and that's about it. I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. 
I love this thing. This is great. I don't like to do like anything fancy when I go out. I like to like wear this. And my brows are like, they are sister, cousin, they're not twins. So Sunday they're okay, the Sunday they're a mess. What can I say? I just wear this with my brows. Okay. Sometimes what I do is just clean it a little bit with concealer, which I'm gonna probably gonna do now because it still looks weird. I'm gonna be using the brow gel by Anastasia. I love this brow gel too, it's very tiny. It came in a holiday gift like maybe two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is just take my concealer palette by MAC. I love this concealer palette. This is medium deep studio fix conceal and correct palette. Love this stuff. Like I love it, love it, love it. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Ooh, almost break. Almost fell and almost break. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of this color that I hit bang already. Oh I didn't know I hit bang in this one too. Like what? Like I had a new pan. I get excited when I, I hit pans, but at the same time it's like, oh, I'm running out of my product. Like how dare myself, you know? I'm just gonna clean over here quick. My primer potion by Urban Decay is gonna apply this over here. I swear this is like a big tube, right? How many grams this thing has? You say Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion anti-aging, that's what I got this because it's supposed to have some properties like to prevent uh, wrinkles around the eye. Um, I'm trying to figure out how many grams this thing has because I feel, I mean, this doesn't say, you have to say, because this because with this applicator and you kind of like, you feel like empty inside, like it's full of air, I don't know. This is a new product, my powder. To set. Because if I don't set it, it's gonna look patchy and I don't like it. Special pomegranate, pomegranate eyeshadow, like they can look patchy quick if you don't say your primer. So, anyway, I'm gonna be using the color. What's the name of this color? Rosewood Romantic of that beauty over here. This one, like apply over here in my crease and kind of bring it. All the way in. Rosewood Romantic. And I'm just gonna apply more of that color on my crease, all over my crease. Wow, this this shade is very pretty. It's very soft. It's not patchy. And it blends so nice. And it takes nothing to blend. Like, look. Wow, so pretty. Okay, the next shade I'm gonna be using is called Plum Cover It. What? <laughs> this one, like what? Plum Cover It. Ooh, so nice. The quality is there. My guy, so beautiful. I wish to say the same thing for Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Like newest eyeshadow palette, I wish to say the same thing, but she's a total disappointment when it comes out of her newest palettes. Pomegranate. The other ones are much better than this palette, but let me tell you, the pigmentation, the quality, the how easy blend, like, oh my God. So 
so pretty. Because when I swatched it, I was like, mm, the other ones are much better. This one, I still feel like it doesn't work. It's not worth $120. Come on. Shift too much money for a palette. That... What if you play like violin? Like it comes singing? Like what? Yeah, and I, I'm a huge fan of Pat McGrath. And I have all her eyeshadow palettes, but let's be honest too. Those are, those are so worth it. This one was just like, mm, it's okay. <laughs> and that one called Extreme Nocturne, Nocturne. This like cool tone brown over here. I'm gonna take that. You know, the deeper shades are always very pigmented. And that's what I love about pomegranate. Independent of any palette, her deeper shades are always the best. I mean, the, the quality is always there. And they're always stunning in the pigmentation. Like, well, I'm gonna make you some swatches for sure. Like, hell yes. Okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to be using one eyelid. I'm going to be using the color BR Sextasy. What? That name, yeah. Sextasy. Um, which is this one right here in the palette. Like that one. That one, that one. Oh, so pretty. Can you see it? Like, wow. That is pretty. Almost like a silver blue sparkles. So pretty. I'm gonna use my fingers. Oh my God. That is pretty. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of, I'm getting full off. Like, really? That's annoying. That's exactly what I want to use, like a brush, because now I have to clean around. It's not bad, but it's like, you have to make sure to apply some kind of fix plus by Max, some glitter glue, something. I mean, when you are like apply it, once you apply it, it's like stay there. But at the same time, when you're going to apply it, it's like when you're getting the fall off. And that's annoying. Oh my God, I'm going to use false lashes because I swear. If I apply false lashes, it's going to cover up some of my eyelid. And you're not going to be able to appreciate this beauty. You know what I mean? I want to try Astro Lila Aura. Which is this one right here on the palette. Like. It's so pretty. You know why it's the apple my, of my life? Because I love silver. Everything relates silver. That's my favorite color. And oh my God, like it's so pretty. It's very glossy too. Ooh. I'm getting some fall off around my false lash, my false lash, my lashes. But I guess it's fine. I will fix it. Oh, this one is like the apple of my heart or the apple of my life because of the color. The texture is falling all over the place. Everywhere. Let's clean a little bit. That's just like a topper. Straight sparkle on the eye. I even have fall off like underneath here. I'm going to use the other special shade that is Astro Gold Last. This one, the one that's like a cool tone, kind of shimmer, sparkle, gold. I'm gonna apply that one over here. Oh 
on my brow bone, I'm going to be using the color Skin Tone. No, sorry, Skin Tones Glow. Skin Tones Glow. That one. I'm going to use it over here. Okay. That color is pretty. Just like the other ones in every mother she I shall put. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be making you some swatches, so don't worry for that. I'm disappointed. I knew him. Like, exactly the same thing. When I went to Sephora to swatch this palette, those special shades, they weren't something like, oh, out of this world. They were like, okay, they, they're nice, but they're like... It's still, the palette is very beautiful. Don't take me wrong. It's just like... This shade is the apple of my life because of the color. The quality is there. It's just flaky and it's like everywhere. And now I'm gonna clean this mess again with concealer. They already applied concealer. I'm gonna fix this mess. Seriously. And apply powder again, which I already did. Just because this shade is everywhere. It's crazy. I'm going to apply mascara and the mascara I'm going to be using is a sample by MAC this one called um, MAC Stack it's tiny and I like it, it's great I'm trying to use all those samples because I have them everywhere and I'm trying to use them up so I can start using my full size mascaras again because I have too many samples my bronzing powder, NARS, you know, I love this casino bronzing powder. I use it all the time. I don't even know why I didn't hit pan of this yet because I swear I love this. So I'm just going to apply a little bit bronzing powder in here. Mm -hmm. I am in love with this bronzing powder. I have so many like contour products and I just love this bronzer because it does everything. Like it does everything. Bronze your face, kind of contour your nose, your face. Everything looks very subtle and natural. I don't want any harsh line, anything weird on my face. That used to be back in the day. Now it's like more of a sort of makeup, you know what I mean? I am obsessed with this like holiday collection eyeshadow palette by Tarte. This one is Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette. Precious Gem. Precious Gems. Yeah. I love the mirror. It's a nice mirror. And it comes all these beautiful six blushes. Well, it does. It brings like five blushes in one bronzer. The bronzer is Park Avenue. I can apply a little bit of that too, why not? But I don't like to look a little, I don't like bronzer that look shimmer, but why not this? Let's put this bronzer over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to apply the blush, and the blush I'm going to be using, that I'm obsessed already, that I'm trying, I'm going to say it's this one over here in the middle, and that one called Refine. And I love to apply this type of brushes with these big, big powder br uh, brushes because it kind of blend everything and looks so subtle and natural. Like you don't want a blush that looks like, you know, like a like a clown. Like I used back in the day when I was like in the 20. I was like 25 when I made my house fun. Yes. And I used to apply so much blush all over the place. And he was like, you're so beautiful, but you apply way too much of the pink stuff on your cheeks. <laughs> I was like, I was obsessed about that on there. Well, I was young, you know. It look, it, back in the day, it looks so nice on me. It still looks my patient. And they're like, ooh, I love that blush. <laughs> but I just don't wear that much blush anymore. I like it very bland and very subtle. And I'm going to apply it like this because I'm on camera. But when I go out, I, I do like... Tee -tee. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. Okay. Uh, in love with this palette. 
if you're looking for a blush palette for a gift, like a gift for somebody, holiday gift, this one by Tarte is amazing. Totally recommend you. It's great. It's subtle. It's beautiful. It's very pigmented. Just take it easy because it's very pigmented. But it's nice. Um, I'm going to use a highlighter. You know what? I'm going to use my favorite highlighter. By You know what? I got a highlighter right away. I got this highlighter. This is by Dior. And it's called Couture Luminizer. 03 Peerless Pearlescent Glow. Pearlescent Glow. This thing. I fell in love because it got all these sparkles. So because I'm wearing an eye an eyelid, I mean sparkles on my eyelid. Like why no to use something like that? But oh my, you know, look at the packaging, how pretty that is. Like hopefully you can see it. It's so pretty. Like it's gorgeous. Okay. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. I'm gonna use this over here. Oh, look at that. It had these beautiful fine sparkles. I swear, when I swatched it, I swatched these, it was looking much better on camera. And now I feel like I don't really. It looks kind of blue. I don't know. It has this silvery blue shift though. I don't know if I like it now. Like it just, yeah, I know they were sparkle, but I don't like the color. Like, look at this. That looks weird. Hmm. Maybe if you're going to a club or a Christmas party at night, that would look nice. I don't think I like it. You know what happened when I don't like something? I either declare it, which I don't want to declare it, I don't declare products anymore. Or I either send it back. And before I declare something, it's brand new. I don't like to declare return stuff because then I create waste more waste that we human you know cause and create every time but I think it might look very beautiful on camera but I see it and it's just like a stray sparkles on my face and I don't like that I got a new gloss this one is by Hourglass it's a beautiful pink shade has all these beautiful like blue sparkles. I don't know what the hell is going on with all these blue sparkles lately. It's crazy. But McGrath, Dior, and now our glass too. Like, but this one at least looks amazing. By the way, the name of this thing is let's see what is the name. Impact. Unreal lip glosses. High shine lip glosses by our glass. Ah, oh, this ties. This smells so minty. So, oh, I love it. It's like when you apply a minty listerine on your mouth, something like that. Like a mouthwash with a minty smell. Oh, this smell like this smells so nice. Okay, here's my look. You can see. I'm done. I don't want to do anything else. Mm. The gloss is amazing. I keep in it. The highlighter, I bet it's going to look beautiful on camera. The glow over here, and I know I'm going to love it in camera once I see the video. I'm loving it right now on my monitor, but I'm going to return it. The palette. The shadows are amazing. I love it. I love these shadows. They're so pretty. But this color over here, can somebody, can someone 
made this palette with all this shadow and put me another type of shadow. I mean, it's the apple of my life because all the silver color sparkles, but it's like in that everywhere. It's very flaky. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to swatch it for you quick. Skin things glow. Oof. Look at that pigmentation one swatch. Natasha, no, 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 please. Learn. <laughs> I swear. Extreme Nocturne. It's that cool tone brown that I have underneath. And I love it. Rosewood Romantic, which I have on my crease as a transition shade. One swatch. Bronze Devotion. It's like a satin shade. Ooh, do you see that? Like, do you see that satin shade? So pretty. Platinum Dusk. Ooh, that color is nice. The next one is Plum Cabaret. Oh, I'm in love. In love, in love, in love. VR Sextasy. I have it on my eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm in love. Like, do you see the dual crown? It's like, I don't know. It's some kind of like, oh, I don't even know how to, oh, that looks so pretty. It's like a, a special pink. I don't even know how to describe that type of pink with this blue shift too. It's so pretty. It had a silver sparkle, but it's like, a blue chief when you move it. So pretty. Blix Venus. Blix Venus. Blix Venus. That one, it is okay. Uh, Blix Venus. Now it's Astral Gold Loss. Ooh. A gold with straight silver sparkle. It's like a cool tone gold. And the last one is the one I have on my left eye. Between more time pass, I kind of like it better. It still is a mess. Okay, that one is Astral Lilac Aura. A beautiful palette. Definitely no much better than the ones that Pamagra already has. But it's still a beautiful palette. And you know what I was noticing? I was noticing that that cool tone brown... You gotta like reapply it because it kind of fade a little bit. Don't ask me how, but it fade. Even if my hands are fading. I don't have that many that long applying these swatches, so it's weird. But in love. Yeah, I don't like that astral lila aura. I don't like the flakiness, and I don't like that in that immigrate everywhere it's a mess but the other shadows i mean so beautiful look at this this is just gorgeous like this shade over here looks kind of green now when i i move the palette like they kind of look like green like a bluish green but it's now like can you see it there oh my god it's so pretty thank you so much for watching let me know if you like this palette. <laughs> See you in the next video, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>